Hey everybody, we've got a cool new product from Petzl that we wanna share with you guys today. So this is the Nano Traction, and it is just the smallest, most compact uh, progress capture pulley that you can find here. It's, it's a great little piece. It does have a sister product called the Micro Traction. The difference between the two is gonna be the Micro Traction has a little lockout for the, the progress capture for that locking cam. Um, so this guy is, like I said, really small, really light. So if you want to talk about small, it's 53 grams. And if you're trying to visualize what 53 grams is like, then uh, a regular aluminum OK carabiner from Petzl like this, uh, this one's going to be 75 grams. And then the micro traction is going to be 85 grams. So this thing is small. It's got a couple of neat little features on it. So swinging side plates, and then it's also going to have that cam, that little tooth cam that you'd expect from Petzl on all their rope grabs. And then it's got an integrated pulley. So we're running a 90% efficient ball bearing pulley in here. Um, so easy enough to attach onto the rope. You open it up, open the cam up, slide it on, connect the carabiner in there. And then you could use it in sort of a, a sender mode to move up the rope. Or there's also the option to use it in a progress capture. So if this was a load where my hand is, you can haul up through it. The other thing that Petzl's given us on here, which is a nice little added feature, is there is this little recessed notch in here, and that's going to allow us to install a little tether cord. So you can feed one end of a little miniature cord through there, and then you can tie that off, and you have it on a, a little leash here. So if you have something like the SMD carabiner, which has a, a hole in it as well, then you can connect the two together so that you don't drop this if you happen to let go of it. Uh, Petzl's rating this thing for a 15 kilonewton braking strength, but they're saying you shouldn't go much over four, you shouldn't go at all over four kilonewtons with the tooth cam in there because we're going to start to desheath ropes and things like that. So it's a great little piece. It's not your heavy rescue piece. This isn't going on the fire truck for all of your urban rope rescue calls, but if you're doing any sort of backcountry work where weight is important to you, then this is a great little piece to have on your harness, whether it's just a personal piece of kit or in a lightweight team rescue kit, something like a, if you're on a REMS team or any of the search and rescue folks that are out in the backcountry, this would be a great little addition to, to add to the team kit. If you have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call or you can learn more at rescuedirect.com.